Hey everybody, my name is Lindsay Harden. I'm the Youth Program Director at the George I. Tyson YMCA here in Traveler's Rest. We're really looking forward to this summer. I have a lot of things to go over with you and hopefully this video will help cover any questions that you may have. You'll pull underneath the awning where Miss Lindsay or Mr. Russell will be to greet your camper or yourself if it's time to pick up in the afternoon. You can pull all the way underneath. Please wait until the car in front of you pulls out. Do not let your child out of the car until they are underneath the awning. As you pull up to drop off your summer camper, you'll stop underneath the awning. Miss Lindsay or Mr. Russell will come and greet you at the door. This year we are not allowed to open the car door, so we are asking that your child open the door themselves. This will help prevent germs from being passed car to car. Once your child exits, the car will have them stop. We will check their temperature. We will also need to ask the parents five screening questions. Those questions are listed in the email sent with this link. We'll double check that your child has brought everything that they need for that day. Your child's first day of camp, they will need to bring a laundry basket of this style or size. In, in it, they need to have extra clothes for water days. They can send some tissues. They can also have hand sanitizer if you have some available. A pencil box with the following. Blunt tip scissors, a pencil sharpener, pencils, crayons, and glue stick. If your child is older, they are allowed to bring markers instead of crayons if they'd like, or color pencils. Also to be left here at summer camp is sunscreen. So please make sure you're sending sunscreen, your pencil case of supplies, extra clothes, tissue, and hand sanitizer if you have it. This, these items will stay at summer camp for your child's stay here the whole summer. Please also label the items so that we know whose is whose. Each day when your child gets here, they can have a backpack. And in that backpack, they need to bring their lunch and a water bottle. The lunch, reminder, we need healthy items and things that are gonna help the kids have energy all day. Please send a water bottle that can be refilled throughout the day and a sports drink is fine as well. Once your camper has passed the screening questions, they can walk into camp. They will be greeted by another counselor at the door. They will let them know where they need to go for the morning time of rides in. Once we finish rides in at nine o'clock, campers will come in and go to their huddle spot, which is called base camp this year. A couple other things we want to mention is every week you'll receive a newsletter before the week starts. So by the Friday before the week, you will receive a newsletter with new information for that week. If things have changed from what was sent out on the calendar at the beginning of the summer, it will be noted in that newsletter. We'll also have a dry erase board at rides in and rides out that will help keep you up to date as well. If activities change or we have something else going on that we need to inform you about, we will do, we'll do so through that means. So please make sure you're reading the dry erase board. I wanna go over some of the new policies and procedures we have in place for this summer. Some of them are the same as previous summers, so if you're a returner, you'll remember them well. But some of the new things we have going on this summer are we're not allowing visitors onto the campus. After you drop off your child, you will not be able to walk them in or come in and see them at this time. If those guidelines get lifted, we will welcome parents to come in and see the facility as you want to or are able to. Right now, anyone that comes in has to be YMCA staff person or a summer camper. They have to pass the five screening questions that are sent to you in the email, and also their temperature must be taken. As long as the temperature is under 100.4, they will be allowed into summer camp. As guidelines and recommendations are lifted throughout the summer, we hope that we can adjust our activity schedule to meet those needs. But at this time, we will not be allowed to get on the buses due to social distancing, so we will not have swimming or off-site field trips. We will be incorporating several water days throughout the summer, and those may be spontaneous, so that's why we are asking for your child to bring an extra set of clothes just to keep here at camp. We don't want to be limited, and if it ends up being a hot day, we want to get out there and get them wet. We will be utilizing the Swamp Rabbit Trail for walks throughout the week. 
That will be posted on the calendar or newsletter for you that you will get each week before the week starts. So that way you'll know if your child will be leaving campus. So throughout campus, we will have hand sanitizing stations available. We will also have hand washing times throughout the day on a regular basis. Children can use the hand sanitizer when they want to or feel they need to, but staff will also be encouraging them to use it between activities, between touching different equipment, after outside time, we'll be washing hands, before eating, washing hands, and all those other times that we would normally do it as well. In regards to equipment or supplies being used, like jump ropes and balls, we will be sanitizing them between campers using them. So if two kids are playing with a ball together when they're done, they'll bring it to the camp counselor and they'll sanitize it before they allow another group of children to use it. That's why we're encouraging you to send that pencil case with pencils and crayons and other supplies for arts and crafts time so that we don't have children sharing a lot of items throughout camp this year. Also, your children have not received this very cute summer camp t-shirt yet. We have them available for your child's first week. So if they're coming next week, we will send them home with them as they get here. But if your child's not coming till later in the summer, we will have them one as well at that point. So you can get it on your child's first day here. So that you know, our rides in and rides out, or drop off and pick up, is from the times of 7.30 to 9. Please do not drop off your child before 7.30, and no child should be dropped off or left here without a counselor signing them in. And as you know, they'll have to pass a screening question. So parents, please wait at the car with your child before you leave. We have to have those questions answered. For rides out time, it'll be from 4.30 to 6 p.m. Mr. Russell or myself will be outside to sign out your child. Please make sure you have your ID ready. Once we get to know you throughout the summer, we won't have to check your ID every day, but for any new person that comes to pick up, please make sure they have their ID. This is for your child's safety. Also, we will be um, requiring that you log into your account on the YMCA website, so that way you can upload your authorized pickups on there. We'll have a iPad this summer to do checkout on, and the authorized pickups pop up on there, but they have to be incorporated in the website. In regards to summer camp payments, your payments are due the Wednesday before the week that your child attends. Please make sure you're checking your inbox, junk, and clutter boxes to make sure you see the balance due email. You should be able to log into the website and pay that way. You can call the YMCA and pay, or you can pay by check at summer camp. Every day that your child comes, please make sure they're dressed in play clothes. We're going to be having fun, we're going to be getting dirty, they may get paint on them, and we don't want nice clothes to be worn to camp. Please also make sure that they're wearing tennis shoes and closed-toed shoes, that way they don't get hurt while they're playing the games. We really discourage flip-flops, so during water activities, if they are going to have on water shoes, please make sure they are a croc or some type of shoe that can enclose their foot. Things not allowed at summer camp, please do not send electronics of any kind. Please do not send soft drinks with your child. They just dehydrate you, and we need to make sure your children are hydrated throughout the day. Please do not send any toys or Pokemon cards or anything like that. Beyblades, please don't send Beyblades. Um, please make sure that you are sending the things that we ask for. If there is a special day, if kindergarten and first gets a day of show and tell, or whether there's something like that going on, that will be included in your newsletter. In our parent handbook that is located on the YMCA Greenville website, you'll see a discipline policy. We will be following that policy in regards to your child's behavior at camp. If we have any issues, we will talk to you at Rides Out, and if anything comes up throughout the day that we need to make you aware of, we will make sure we have a phone call with you. We are encouraging positive behavior throughout camp, and we know we're gonna have a good time. We want all the children that come here to feel safe and have a great time while they're here. Lastly, we are super excited about your child coming to camp. Um, we have a lot of new things going on, a lot of different policies and procedures that we have to follow this summer. It's all to keep your child safe. All of our summer camp staff are, have been busy getting ready and they are really excited to see your child this summer and meet them and just have fun and play with them. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me, Lindsay Harden at lharden at ymcagreenville.org. The best way to reach me is through email since I will be at camp throughout the days and I can respond to that as I can. We will have a YMCA cell phone available on site here. That phone number is 864-419-5678. Feel free to text it or call it throughout the day of summer camp hours, 730 to 6, if you need an update on your child. We're looking forward to it. See you soon. Hello everyone, my name is Russell Webb. I will be supporting the staff this summer. I also will be doing rides in and rides out. Look forward to seeing you all soon. Hi, my name is Miss Hannah. I'm working with the second and third graders this summer in the Fireflies group. I'm really excited to meet you guys and we're going to have a really fun summer. 
Hi, my name is Miss Callie. I will be a floater this summer working with all of the different age groups. I'm excited to see all of you and have fun. Kenzie, I'll be working with the Lucky Leprechauns this summer, second and third graders, and I can't wait to see y'all. Hi, my name is Jess, and I will be over the fourth and fifth graders, um, the Giants and the Dragons. I hope to have a great summer with you guys. Hi, my name is Madison. I will be working with the kindergarten and the first grade this year, and our group name is the Twinklers, and I'm excited to play with your kids. <laughs> Hi, my name is Hadley. I'm looking forward to being with your children this year. I'm going to be a floater this year and I'm very looking forward to this summer. Hi, I'm Miss Megan. I'll be working with the Trolls group this year and I'll have kindergarten and first grade. Hey, I'm Mr. D and I'll be working with the fourth and fifth graders this summer and we'll be the Dragons. I can't wait to meet you all and we have an awesome summer. Hello, my name is Hannah Hess and this year I am going to be a substitute coming and meeting every single one of you and I can't wait to have such a magical summer. Ba -ba -ba -bam.